Hello, everybody, and welcome to Left of Meta. This series is meant to highlight decent to good sets that can be good for newer players due to the ease of acquiring them compared to the more meta sets like Reliquin, Sororia, Yolnacrin, or Olarime, all of which come from high-end trials. Before we get into the actual sets, let's go over a couple of ground rules. These sets have to be from Overland, PvP, base game dungeons, or be a crafted set. If they're PvP or Overland, they have to be relatively cheap on guild stores. A full set should cost roughly less than 20k. If they're crafted, they have to be 6 traits or less, and they can't be overly common, but they'll be tested along some more meta sets. For stamina, those sets will be the Leviathan uh, set from Crypt of Hearts, and the Maelstrom Bow. For Magicka characters, that will be Mother's Sorrow from Deshaun, and the Maelstrom Staff. For Healer, that will be the Spell Power Cure set from White Gold Tower, and for Tank, that will be the Ebon Armory set from Crypt of Hearts. This video contains the Symphony of Blade monster set from Depths of Malatar and the Master's Restoration staff from Dragon Star Arena. And with that out of the way, let's roll into today's set. This week's set is called The Worm's Raiment. It is found in the Vaults of Madness dungeon in Cold Harbor, and the set gives the following benefits. At 2 items, it gives 129 spell damage. At 3 items, it gives 1096 maximum magicka. At 4 items, it gives 129 magicka recovery. And at 5 items, it grants 145 magicka recovery to you and up to 11 other group members within 28 meters of you. So first and foremost, the upsides to this set are... Probably rather obvious. First off, Max Magicka, Magicka Recovery, and Spell Damage are all good on a healer. A little bit less so on a tank, but this is still at least a decent set to pick up on a tank. And this is a metric buttload of Magicka Recovery, especially in larger groups like Trial Groups. If you are a trial group, this is 145 Magicka Recovery per person, times 12 people is 1,740 Magicka Recovery. And more Magicka for your DPS is more skills that they can cast, which is a, which is a higher total of damage. And with how spread out some fights can get, this can tend to beat out Hollow Fang in the recovery stand. So, this is another one of those sets where downsides are a little bit of a stretch. First off, if you're running this on a tank, which, again, I will recommend if your healers don't have it, or your healers need to be wearing another set, this is a light armor set, and it only drops in light, which means that if you're planning to run this on your tank, you need to be farming out weapons and jewelry for it. And because... This is a dungeon set. That means you will only get the drops you need from chests or the final boss of the dungeon. Which means you're going to be spending more time in here to get the pieces you need, even without getting them in the right trades for sticker book, than the healer will be. And even so, if you have stamina players in your group, if you're, say, a more mixed group with 4 stam and 4 magicka DPS, or a a uh, fully stam group, this set does not do as much, if anything at all. The good news is this set will always be helpful to your healer and to your tanks. So, it's always at least okay, but it's probably not giving you as good of a bonus the fewer Magicka players you have in the party. All in all, this is an amazing set for Magicka-focused groups, which is a lot of higher-end groups and tends to be more common than Stam groups, because it's a ton, and I do mean a ton, 
of Magicka Recovery for your entire 11-man team. The downside is that it's useless if you're in a stam group that should be obvious, something that buffs Magicka Recovery should not be used in a stam group. But all in all, this is a very, very good set, and I highly recommend picking this up on any healer. But with all of that done, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next week for the set Viper's Sting. Until then, have fun, stay safe, and don't die.